here, and today we're standing in front of Carolina Aquatic, and right behind me is a 20,000 square foot warehouse where we want to take a look and see how we can help upgrade their Wi-Fi network. Right now they have one router, and we're going to see if mesh is a good possibility. Now I've taken a quick look inside, a lot of fish tanks, a lot of water, it's really humid, which typically causes a problem with Wi-Fi. We're going to see if Velop is going to be able to be the right solution. So right now we're standing in front of the IT closet and there's the one router right here that's trying to supply Wi-Fi coverage for the entire building, all 20,000 square feet. Now what Carolina Aquatics is trying to do is get Wi-Fi coverage everywhere so they can have their customers use the iPad so they can actually order the fish that they want from the warehouse area. All right, it's a little loud in here, all the machines and everything that are going, but you can kind of get an idea of how big this warehouse is. And what we really want to do is cover the entire warehouse in Wi-Fi. But it looks like we're going to actually have to put the nodes potentially on top. You see how high those fish tanks are? If you did not know, glass water moisture is a Wi-Fi killer. All right, we're back here at Carolina Aquatics and today we're gonna actually install the Velop system. And behind me we have Jeremy and Chris. And for this unique situation, because there's a lot of humidity and a lot of moisture in the air, uh, Jeremy has got these dry boxes that he's actually putting together. So we're gonna test that out and see how that works. And let's go take a look. And now for the first one, we're trying to connect it right up in there. And then he's got... So this was here, like that. Plugged into that router. For no good reason. <laughs> Wait, did you do that one? No. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then some really old phone technology and bad stuff. So we're going to go from modem straight to the new Velop system and then out into our switch work and all that jazz. Now, what I thought was funny is how many networks did you see before we did Five. this? Five different networks. And Five. do we know what they were being used for? No. <laughs> well, we have an idea. Your printer, the one printer was on one of the networks, then there's an office print network, so I don't know if maybe that's part of it, but. Yeah. Bye-bye. Well, this is a snazzy app. Um, All right, oh, so. Hey, it's purple. It's purple. All right, it's so purple, it should tell you in the app, and it looks like it's taking up a lot less room. Oh yeah, I can mount, I can just sit it on top of the modem now. I did set next. Wait, we were talking and you're already going through the setup. Sorry. It's so easy. <laughs> Literally, it's that easy. So the light was purple and I click next. And all that it's doing is just checking that the internet is going now. That's all it's doing is just we're waiting. Nice. Chilling. And it found it right away, like instantaneous. No more going to menus and bad jazz. Now, as you've probably heard me mention before, this is a very extremely rough environment to get Wi-Fi to work. The humidity is off the chart, and it has to stay that way. The fish have to stay at a certain temperature. He heats the whole warehouse, so you don't have to do individual control of the tanks. But with that said, you look at behind me on this door, and that door has only been here for about a year. That's how much humidity and moisture is actually in this environment. Everything in here has to be dry boxed, has to be protected, galvanized steel, or even pressure uh, treated wood. So with that said, all the glass, all the water, all the humidity in the area, this is going to be an extremely tough challenge to see if we can get Wi-Fi to work. But we're gonna make it work. All right, so Jeremy is installing the first node into the warehouse. We already have the primary node in the office. We added another node uh, into the print room in the office. We'll add this node here, and then we're gonna add another node down at the other end of the warehouse. So he's finishing installing it, and as you can see, he's putting it in those dry boxes. It's got a rubber gasket. He's actually drilled a hole for the power coming in through there, and he's done a silicone wrap around it. And the box is big enough, heat really shouldn't be an issue. 
So we're excited to see how this is going to work. We've done a little bit of pre-testing. Just this note alone has been able to cover the entire warehouse floor. So with that other note in the back of the warehouse, we're going to ensure that they get 100% speed and 100% coverage through everything. So thanks for the help, Jeremy, getting this set up. Uh, what'd you think? It was super, super easy. The only snag we hit was we were running a uh, Mocha gateway modem router and basically bridge mode we had to enable in the back end of that. Once we did that, snap, perfectly simple, easy peasy. Um, probably the easiest install of a router I've ever had including the problems. <laughs> so it's not Velop at all. It was totally the modem router gateway that we were trying to work through. So, but otherwise super simple and we have four gateways running and we're covering a 20,000 square foot building with like a full strength signal and all the nooks and crannies. It's amazing. Full of glass and water and crap and it's right through it. It's awesome.